get into why she would have been there. Whatever the reason, investigators say the two argued, and Powell shot Myrick one time. Folks, you say they had never seen or heard of Powell before today. Former Atlanta Hawks star Ricky Blaylock is in serious condition after being hurt in a deadly car crash Friday. Police in Jonesboro say Blaylock apparently lost control of his SUV on Terra Boulevard, crossing the center median. Here this afternoon. being pulled by a pontoon boat when it flipped. They say the woman drowned trying to save the young people. The juveniles had on life jackets. They're okay. The woman was not wearing a life jacket. Her body was later pulled from the lake. This happened in the Shoal Creek area. A break in the case of a taxi cab driver's murder. Police arresting a suspect within 24 hours of the death. Officers say the team gunned down the taxi driver after he dropped him off in an apartment complex. Plus five's Portia Bruner is live tonight from the DeKalb County Jail with the latest Portia. Yeah, Deidre, I want to show you this mugshot. This is Pharaoh Swindle. He is 19 years old, locked up in the DeKalb County Jail behind me, still awaiting his first court appearance. Now, less than a mile from here on Northern Avenue is where you'll find the apartment complex where he's accused of gunning down cab driver Dedrick Darcelin early Friday morning. And I can tell you the folks at that apartment complex say they are relieved to hear news of an arrest. The DeKalb Sheriff's Fugitive Squad tracked down 19-year-old Pharaoh Swindle at a Memorial Drive apartment complex around 7 p.m. Friday, less than 24 hours after he allegedly gunned down cab driver Dedrick Darcelin at the Oak Creek Apartments early Friday morning. That's very awesome. They know, they, it lets me know that they're doing their job out here. This was just really hard-nosed police work. DeKalb's police chief says initially there were no clues to go on after Darcelin was found in his cab dead from a gunshot wound, but the chief says a witness came forward and tips from the public quickly followed. A sergeant from the Major Felonies Unit says Swindle made critical statements that led to his murder charge. Without going into the details about that statement, uh, he did accept responsibility. And to take a life like that, it's just, you know, Unbelievable. It's unfathomable. Friday afternoon, the owner of Checker Cab told Fox 5 Darcelin was the second cabbie dispatched to pick up the gunman on Auburn Avenue in Atlanta. He says the first cabbie turned him down after he couldn't get his fare up front. Police say shortly after Darcelin dropped Swindle off around 2.30 a.m., witnesses heard the gunfire that left an innocent man dead. It was a robbery. We have information uh, at the scene to suggest us very clearly this was a robbery. Yes, we did have a witness uh, to this case who was able to make uh, a positive identification of him. There's no need in killing somebody for that. You well, this afternoon, DeKalb's police chief said that they're going to be working very closely with detectives in Atlanta to determine if Mr. Swindle could be responsible for any robberies or cab driver robberies or other crimes in the city of Atlanta. It says there are detectives here in DeKalb also looking to see if he could be connected to any crimes here as well. We're reporting live outside the DeKalb County Jail. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Portia, thank you. Well, if you're out driving today, many of you probably... Yes. Uh,